Okay, yo humans. I'm in my uh, Airstream land yacht on a Chevy P30 workhorse chassis, 1999. And I found myself in an emergency situation of having to drill out my ignition lock cylinder and get myself going again. I actually came home. I'm in West Oakland here. I actually came home from Santa Cruz one night to a guy trying to steal this thing and um, hit him with a log and drove him off, but he half-assed the job enough to make my make my ship unstartable. All that like chewedness and stuff around was from him and his tools trying to get this going. Um, and then I needed to drive, of course. And I did a lot of searching on YouTube that was not quite, I didn't see anything that was quite precisely on point for this vehicle. I know a lot of these RVs are on a Chevy P30 chassis, and this actually worked super slick. I took this drill right here with uh, this quarter inch bit, and there was actually a little, um, and that's where I went in with it. But there was actually an indentation, like it was. It was pretty fortuitous. I, there was a there was an indentation right in the um, little in the part itself, and I just put the drill bit right on that. I, I worked up from smaller bits to this quarter inch bit, and I just kind of, as far as the depth of the hole, you, you can kind of see how far I went in there. That's a pretty good view. But anyway, that's right where the little locking part is, and I just kind of kept drilling in about an eighth of an inch at a time there and testing with the screwdriver. And at a certain point, that piece came out and that started turning again. I've got the battery disconnected right now, so I can't start it, but that worked. So, over and out.